Hi guys, it's Clary Bear here and I need to talk with you about something that I learned. This is something that is going to probably come as a surprise to a lot of people. People aren't going to like it, they're going to get defensive about it, just like they do when they find out a lot of truth. There's a reason why they say ignorance is bliss, right? Truth is not always the most fun thing to learn, but definitely helps us to evolve, to become better people, to become better societies if we actually do decide to face the truth. And it does take some balls, it takes some guts. We're gonna talk about David Bowie again, among others. I did a video yesterday on him and then I found out some more information. I'm kind of upset that everybody is glorifying David Bowie. I mean, first of all, on one hand, it is pretty crazy that people are mourning the deaths of celebrities. I had one post that I actually reposted from Luke Duke Bainbrook and it says it was a, it would appear that the death of celebrities is f of far more concern than the death of the planet. We've certainly got our priorities right. And I had to reshare that one. The meme that was going around is I raped a 13 year old baby groupie and people still worship me. And this is what got me started going into looking into this subject. And apparently it is true. It was actually the same girl. And actually I had just found out about Jimmy Page having a relationship and supposedly kidnapping this girl when she was 15. It's actually the same girl. And this is very well documented. You can't really argue it. And you know, my post today is I can't handle it. Enough with this celebrity worship. If you whine about Justin Bieber being wrong, what's wrong with our culture and then idolize a drugged out child molester, then maybe you should look in the mirror. Not saying I like Bieber, but the celebrity worship has got to stop. It's okay for certain people to do things because they have talent, but not okay for others. That's a problem and is far worse than being of low talent. So, you know, I hear a lot of, oh, you know, if you like the Kardashians, like you're what's wrong with this culture. And like, not necessarily, you know, people can have their guilty pleasures. You can listen to music and especially like, let's say you've had your dad's records or something, you're not paying money to these people anymore. Um, then I, I think it would be okay to enjoy some music by these people. I mean, it's hard to grow up on somebody and say, oh, all of a sudden I'm not going to like Led Zeppelin anymore because I found out 20 years later about Jimmy Page. Like it's, it's pretty hard. But on the other hand, for me, it doesn't really matter. I it, it kind of does affect me every time I listen to Led Zeppelin, even though they have been a favorite of mine for a really long time. So the issue is about that this is our culture, that we don't know about this thing. I mean, I'm sure for a lot of people, my posting, this will be the first time and people are already responding, you know, saying it's not true or saying, you know, well, wow, they didn't know that. And, you know, even in just looking up this instance, because obviously I did not, I did know about Jimmy Page before this, and I did not know about David Bowie, otherwise I probably would have said it yesterday. I found some other articles and different things that are talking about other people. Apparently Iggy Pop did the same thing. These are all, I haven't researched these, but Johnny Thunders of the New York Dolls, Mick Jagger, D. Ramone. Mark Bo Bolan, I don't know who that is. Alice Cooper, Rod Stewart, and Bill Wyman. Again, I don't know who that last one is. But it's a problem in our society. And I'm not here to say, oh, I hate David Bowie. Nobody should like David Bowie. Or, you know, we should destroy all his music or anything like that or any of these people. I'm just saying that something needs to change with our mindsets and our society to where we should be knowing this and no, we shouldn't be glorifying these people and mourning their deaths, you know, more than we're paying attention to the environment. Woody Allen obviously had some issues with things like this. And even going back to 18th century poetry, Edgar Allan Poe married a 13 year old, 13 year old cousin as did Jerry Lee Lewis, R. Kelly, apparently Ted Nugent has admitted fondness for underage girls. There, I mean, Marvin Gaye dated a 16 year old. The Eagles' Don Henley was arrested when police found a drug naked 16 year old at his house. Salinger dated teenage girls. Again, Roman Polanski, Iggy Pop, Jimmy Page, Charles Dickens left his wife for an 18 year old, then publicly slandered his betrayed wife in the newspaper. So, I mean, the list just goes on and on and on. And of course, these teen girls are very confused. They're very young. They're, they, they are attracted to these men with this great power, but does that make it right? 
Um, does it does it make it right for the men to take advantage and use these girls and discard them afterwards? No, and of course, where are the parents? I mean, that's of course an issue. But the point that I wanna actually address in this video is when we look the other way, what message are we sending to our daughters? Just like this article says, what message does it send to our daughters that the, their bodies and souls are less important than a really good film or a really good piece of music? It doesn't matter if the girl's saying yes, it's unethical, it's their job to say no. And like, like she says in this article, it's our job to say no instead of eh. You know, if we can't expect our musicians and everybody else to be held accountable, then how are we going to hold, you know, the athletes accountable, like the big controversy a few years ago? It's, it's an issue that definitely needs to be addressed and it shouldn't be um, looked the other way. I have people already, Stephen Page, making excuses. She was 15 for starters. No, she wasn't 15, actually. She was 15 when she got with Jimmy Page. Why do people automatically want to make excuses for this? Um, another response I'm getting here is, oh, same person, Stephen Page. He's about to get uh, blocked here. There are a lot of people in the UK that had consensual sex with a 15-year-old that didn't also have his career bash them instead. Okay, how am I gonna bash them if I don't even know who they are? So another thing that really came to my attention is John Lennon. Apparently, John Lennon is not so great a person as his quotes and the history would like to make it out to be. He is an apparently admitted a, um, woman abuser, a um, woman abuser. And you know, that's not it, but just for the sake of this video, keeping it somewhat brief, this is a problem. How are people like this? And I did a video on Marilyn Monroe. You know, she's idolized as well for saying things she didn't say, for being this icon. And people are so latched onto it. I got so much hate mail for that video, and I assume I am for this one as well, but I really don't care because we shouldn't be just turning a blind eye to this stuff. It should be well known in our history. We should be teaching our females about these, um, about these issues and about these problems and about how naive we are when we're young. I mean, there are so many things that we can learn from this type of story, you know? I mean, why is it okay to worship certain musicians and just completely be obliterated? I mean, some of the people on my on my Facebook page we're just literally like posting about it all day why do we worship celebrities why do people who are otherwise aware otherwise I mean they know that you know you don't want to watch the news because it's mass media but yet they are literally obsessed with musicians throughout history you know the music industries are just as much of a powerful and dare I say evil entity as any other you know Hollywood as Hollywood in general I guess you could say I mean if you're gonna it's so easy for people again comparing Bieber because they don't like his music to say he's what's wrong with society or the Kardashians are what's wrong with society when this type of stuff is going on why is it okay why I mean I had this ex that was like this big music buff and just really like would like look down on me and talk down to me for not being as much of a music buff as he was and it's like he was so aware of these you know conspiracies and the powers that be and yet he didn't bat an eye and I would bring up Jimmy Page or people just tend to latch onto music because it is artistic and because it hits them at a at a deep level sometimes and they turn a blind eye to the controlling powers that it can have as well and it's not just pop music that is controlled by the music industry the lives of these musicians are sometimes destroyed by by the music industry and so i just find it funny you know that hardly nobody knows this that it's so hotly debated and people automatically assume it's not true to protect these people that they care so much about i just want to say just like you have to do with your food choices you know we really have to look at 
where the source is coming from, how, what are we allowing into our life? People say you are the You're also influenced by your media, and that includes music. We shouldn't be just worshiping people and idolizing people because they were artistic. They're not better than anybody else, and they shouldn't be held to a higher standard. Well, maybe they should be held to a higher standard because they're in the public eye, but they shouldn't be giving free passes to do whatever they want without criticism. Lori Fisher has a great point. Take a look take a look at the trending list and it'll turn your stomach. Nothing about serious issues like global warming or something positive like how to install solar panels. Just celebrities, celebrities, celebrities. So, if you're get, if you find yourself caught up in this whole celebrity bullshit, just realize that just because it's a musician and you think it's more artistic, just realize that you're just as brainwashed as everybody else. Really? And especially if you're focusing on, you know, their death and all this different stuff, it's it's all the same thing. These celebrities are no better than the ones you see on TV or the ones that make shitty music and the ones that make good music unless you're actually standing up for something that matters, you know? And the brainwashing runs deep, you guys. People get offended when I say that, but I was brainwashed for a long time too, even when I thought I was aware. I was bitching for decades about the government. Wow, I was still eating meat. I was still believing what Weston A. Price, you know, I had heard through the grapevine and all of this other stuff that was, you know, I was just, oh, I read an article, you know, meat and dairy industry, it's funded, it links to a study that's funded by the Meat and Dairy Council, but I didn't realize how I was actually being brainwashed just as much as they are even though I thought I was aware. So my point in this video is not to put people down who might have been feeling bad for David Bowie. It's okay to feel bad because somebody died. It's not okay to idolize people and turn the other way when you hear these facts. And like I said, dig deep into all of your beliefs, all of your actions. We need to evolve or our species and all of these species in the entire world are going to be wiped off the planet because of because we're killing it. Animal agriculture is the number one thing wrong with the environment on so many different levels. Please watch Cowspiracy. Please wake up and realize that we don't have forever to be continuing to treat the world like this. We are going to lose our home and the earth will survive, but we will not. We need to wake up and realize that there are bigger things to worry about right now than, oh, a 70-year-old celebrity died. And look into it. Look into every little thing. When you can see a study, go look at the author affiliations. Go look at who funded that study. That is the type of real information that allows the meat and dairy industry to keep us eating their death products and being on a low vibration so we don't evolve. So definitely don't forget to eat your fruit and eat high carb vegan. It's the way to go. Vegan is the absolute best for the environment. Please wake up and start caring for it or else we're all doomed. <laughs> Thanks for watching.